Hey, hey, Chip Mitchell coming back at you with Enjoy the Ride. Hey, I got something special today. I'm going to reveal the secret how to clean your rims, not just on your Riker, but on any bike, any car, any boat trailer, you name it, your truck. How do you clean the rims? You know, you get old, you don't like bending over, right? Your knees, your back, all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm going to show you the secret on how to clean your rims with no water. No water. This is going to be awesome. The easiest way to get it done. But before we do that, I need something from you. Like and subscribe. But I got something special for you today. What is it? You got to subscribe so we can be all that just friends. So we can be all just the friends. Oh, baby, you. What's happening, folks? Chip Mitchell back at you. Listen, you don't like it, subscribe. I'm going to sing some more terrible songs like that for you. But hey, listen, I got something great for you today. Today, uh, I'm going to show you uh, the secret on how to clean those rims uh, without really hurting your back, your knees, and also something real cool without water. You know, uh, sometimes you want to get a quick ride in and your rims aren't right, especially if you have the... Um, the Rally Edition with the white rims, those white rims are incredible. Listen, if you haven't seen it in person, uh, don't put no hate on it. Because I tell you, I saw it in person, it looks totally different than what it does on video and in pictures. But those white rims, it's a lot to maintain. And, you know, a lot of times you get tired of doing it. But this is not just for motorcycles. It's for bicycles, for uh, cars. Uh, for uh, boat trailers, the rims, you know, you want your rims to look great. And, you know, a lot of times you just don't feel like getting out the boat bucket, the water, you know, the, the hose and you're spraying it down and you're trying to figure out how to get it done. So I uh, have come up with a unique way through some other uh, means of, that I use this, this particular product on that have really helped me and it gets in the crevices because you know a lot of times with rims now you have, there are all kinds of different types of rims but you got these small holes and so forth and crevices and you know bending over like this you know for me i've had lower back issues in the past um i've got knee issues so if i get down on one knee that's that's really hard even with the uh, foam pads and pillows if i get down on my knees it, it just really hurts so I, have, I had to come up with a way to really get these rims done because these rims are awesome. They're, they're phenomenal, no matter what. I mean, all rims, when you get those alloy rims, everybody, you know, you want your rims to be pristine, but with the dust, the brake dust and the mud and all that kind of stuff out there, it just messes it up. And so I'm trying to figure out how do I find a way where I can detail my rims. Uh, maybe the whole bike doesn't need to be clean because typically the bike stays clean. I keep it garaged. Um, so, but the rims get dusty and uh, I don't feel like doing the whole wash. I'll show you how I do my wash, which is pretty simple, uh, but it's the rims. It's the rims that, you know, so I think this is an easy way to get it done. So there's a couple of things. I've got uh, a, a nice uh, tire black uh, product, which is really cool. Keeps your tires looking really nice and it lasts a long time. This is a great product. I'll show you how I use that. The secret weapon, simple green, foaming crystal. This is, uh, this is awesome. This stuff, wait till you see what it does. It's pretty awesome. I use that. My handy dandy uh, little uh, touche, touche turtle. Many of you may remember that. Um, this gets inside the crevices. I'll show you how I use that. And then I've got two uh, cloths. But in addition to that, this is the back, the knee, the saver of them all. <laughs> this right here is pretty awesome. It's a little scoot there, boom, boom, bat. I can put this down, I can sit and get it done and it makes it so much easier for me. And you know, cause I'll, I'll be honest, you know, when you're bent over and you're, and you're down there, you're only as good as the endurance you can handle from the pain from the lower back. Now I know some of you folks out there got no back issues and I'm thankful for you people, but for me, <laughs> You know, it just gets tough. And then so what happens when I get tired with my back or my knees bent and it hurts, I, I tend to miss spots. I tend not to be as detailed uh, as I could be. And, you know, that's here, they're there. But this helps me out. So let's get to it. 
Now, I want to remind you, like and subscribe. Hey, if you want more of this great stuff, like and subscribe. Let me know you give me some love. So check me out. All right, here we go. So first off, I get, get my handy dandy little scoot, scoot chair. Uh, all these products that I have, I put uh, in the description, links to it. Um, then I get my uh, Simple Green, Brrr, shake this baby up, get it nice and foamy. This stuff, I'm telling you, it's awesome. Causes no damage either. Take the spray, watch this. Spray that bad boy, foam it. It gets on all the crevices. Foam it up. Real nice. Just like that, easy. Come back to the back side. I do the same thing. Foam it up. You know, the cool thing with this foam is that it gets in all the nooks and crannies, you know? You don't have to worry about missing spots because it's a spray and it foams right in there and watch, it's already starting to evaporate. And so what this does is it shakes up the dust, it shakes up the dirt and debris that's in there. It does a fantastic job of getting all in the nooks and crannies. And you know, you can let it sit for a little and you can see it's already evaporating. You know, it's already doing its thing. It's breaking down the dirt. It's loosening the dirt on all the different pieces that are in there. Uh, look at it dripping. You can even see dirt in them. And these rims were actually pretty clean. Sorry for the wind if that's uh, bothering you. It's a little windy today. Tried to get in the nook here so it wouldn't. But then I take this thing, you know, now I usually, look, I mean, look at it. It's just dripping off. You can even see dirt in the foam. Then I take this and then here I am, get in here, get in these little nooks and you just spin this bad boy, get all in here, up in here all around. Look, I'm even wearing my new Nikes. Brand new spanking, well they're not brand new, but they look new. I mean, they clean as a whistle. If you got water, you don't wanna get them on your Nikes. You know, I just do this, do this. Nike doesn't pay me a dime, I wish they did. <laughs> There's no Michael Jordan here. Although I did hang out with Michael Jordan one day. I did, I hung out with him all night. People don't believe me, I was in college hanging out with a buddy of mine, Lorenzo Sutton. Lorenzo Sutton was a uh, all-star at the University of Massachusetts basketball player. And he was, and this was, must have been 89, somewhere around there. And my buddy was like, hey man, let's go see, you know, the Celtics play Chicago. Now I was at UMass Amherst, and at this time the Celtics were playing uh, the Chicago in Connecticut. It was kind of this thing where they were like, Let's go and, uh, you know, widen our support. So uh, I'll tell you a story while I'm just cleaning the rims, show you how easy it is. And then you get all behind there. And so he said, let's go. We're going to Connecticut. We'll go see the game. We leave, you know, we're college students. We leave so late. We get there, the game is over. And I said, oh, man, let's go back. You know, forget this. He's like, no, man, we're going to go over to the hotel where they're staying. We're going to see Mike. I know Michael Jordan. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Everybody knows Michael Jordan. <laughs> and so we go to the hotel. It's mayhem at the hotel. I mean, it's absolutely mayhem. People are everywhere. Uh, it's crazy. And he goes, well, we're going to go inside. I go, dude, we're not going to get to see Mike. And he, he goes in. He goes to the front desk. He's like, I want to go up to Michael Jordan's room. They're like, uh, yeah, you and everybody else. <laughs> and then he says, give me the phone. He takes the, what do you call it, the house phone at the hotel? He takes the house phone. And then what does he do? He gets on there, he's calling somebody. He's like, yo, tell these fools to let me up. I'm like, oh God, I'm gonna get arrested in the middle of the night, like some kind of groupie. I don't even like basketball. And sure enough, he hands the phone to the desk receptionist and then she points to the elevator and we go up. And I'm like, he's lying, this ain't Michael Jordan. All right, so once you do that, I'll get back to the Michael Jordan story. Then I take my uh, rag so I've gone through it with the brush. I take my rag, and this is just wiping off any of the residue. I mean, that's really what it's doing, and it's getting any kind of dirt that may have been left over, but all of that has been loosened. 
You know, the cool thing, look at me, I'm sitting, I'm relaxed. It's no big deal. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. Doesn't hurt my back, my knees, none of that. I'm feeling really good. Look at that. Get all that in the corners. It's all loosened up. You know, you come around with this rag. I mean, this is so easy. And it just makes cleaning the rims, which is such a highlight on any vehicle, whether it's a car, motorcycle, bicycle, trailer, you name it, all those things. And look at that. I mean, just looking awesome. So I do that. That's look great. Then I take my this this product, this this is uh, this True Wet Black Magic. This stuff is really good. So I go, I just just spray a little bit on it. You know, I don't like the way this stuff leaves stains on your driveway and all that. It stays there for days. Uh, then I use a separate rag for that. And all I do is just wipe around it, just like this. You know, and it just cleans it up. And there you have it. I mean, man, that's pretty awesome. And it's done. That's the one. So let's come back, look at the other one. So back to my story with Michael Jordan. So we go upstairs. Look at that. I mean, it's already dissolved. I'll put a little more on there. So we go upstairs. Here's this guy. We go on this hallway. We go down the hallway. We get to this door. He bangs on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, let me in. I'm like, oh, God. Whoever's on the other side of this door, we're in trouble. He's like, who? You can hear in the back of the door go, who is it? He's like, so. And it's like, oh, God. We're going to jail. And then... <laughs> Somebody opens the door, right? They open the door. I'm standing there. My buddy's standing there. And somebody's hiding behind the door. And I'm like, who's hiding behind the door? I'm like, we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> I mean, is this guy sending me in some kind of ambush or whatever? So all of a sudden, we walk in. I look behind the door. It's Michael Jordan. I'm like, yo. First of all, I got to say, he ain't 6'6". Six, six. That was the first thing I thought when I saw him. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there, and I'm blown away. It's Michael Jordan. And then my boy's like, yo, man, what's up? And they, and they literally knew each other. I guess they were fraternity brothers or something like that. Same thing, do the same thing, getting these little crevices with this little spinner, gets all that, goes around. So sure enough, we're in the hotel room. Michael's there. My buddy's there. I'm there. And we're just the three of us sitting in the hotel. And, uh, you know, Mike is sitting there. He's watching the news of the games, all the games that, you know, the highlights of the games. And he's just like us. I mean, he's watching folks get dunked on. He's like, oh, he's laughing. He's cracking up at people getting taken down and shot, you know, shots being made. And I remember thinking, is this really Mike? And my buddy was like, how'd the game go? Mike was like, you know, it's good. He's like, how many points you score, Mike? And then Mike said, I don't know, 40, 45. I was like, it's Mike. I couldn't believe it. And uh, he's wearing his shorts. And we're just sitting there. We sat there till I think it was 3, 4 in the morning before we left. And we just hung out. Uh, I think B.J. Armstrong came by and somebody named Grant. I, didn't, I don't know basketball, but those guys came by. Mike looked at me. He said, hey, man, you want to get something to eat? And I said, yeah. I said, you know, there's a restaurant across the street, a really nice restaurant. We can go over there and get something to eat. And Mike looked at me and said, I can't go outside. And I was like wow, this is a different world for me. And we hung out, and I tell you, man, he was great. He, uh, he uh, really, you, you felt uh, just really treated well. I, you know, I know there's a lot of stuff about Mike out there. I, I, I can't speak to that. I, I, you know, hey, I, I just got to meet him that one time. It was very laid back. I mean, obviously, um, we were in his hotel room, and and he was very nice to me. He was, you know, he, he laughed with me. And, you know, uh, I had a Corvette at the time. And my buddy told him, he says, yeah, Chip, Mike. Oh, Mike, he told Mike, he says, Chip's got a Corvette. I was like, please don't compare my one car to all the cars he has. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> and then here's what I do. Same thing I did up there. Just wipe it. Do this. And so we hung out. And, uh, you know, it was cool. And. Then some other folks came by, and, you know, uh, that was great. They just came on in, just some fans, and uh, he took some time out to someone had come up who was disabled, 
And uh, so they got up there and he, he made everyone be quiet. He went outside, gave that person a, a T-shirt and, um, you know, signed an autograph. He, he, was, he was, you know, hey, I can't speak to other folks' experience. I know some have said, you know, he's not the nicest or whatever. Uh, but he, he, he did fantastic with me. I, maybe I caught him on a great day. I don't know. But it was a great time. And, and then when we were leaving, because I was tired, I was like, look, man, we got to get back. Uh, and, and so when we're leaving, Mike says to me, he goes, hey, Chip, you, uh, I got my new sneaks, my new uh, line that just came out. You want a pair of sneakers? I got some over here. I'll sign them for you. And I was like, nah, I don't play basketball. <laughs> that had to be the dumbest thing. I mean, obviously, I could have got a pair of brand new shoes. And he even said, he said, listen, if I give these to you, you can't wear them yet because they're not out yet, but they're coming out. And I was like, in my mind, I was thinking, I don't play basketball. What am I going to do? I don't walk around in basketball. I mean, I, I, so I just said, no, I'm good, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sure Mike was like, wow, that's the first person I ever met that didn't want, want an autograph, let alone a pair of my sneakers autograph. I just, you know, I think those sneakers are probably worth 65000 to this day. Who knows? Especially if he had the worn ones. But that was my story. And, I mean, there you go. Look at this. I mean, this product, this is so easy. Then I do the same thing, you know, just put a little of this black magic on there. Take the towel and just boop, 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 boop. Just wet it. And there you go. I mean, man, look at that. And, and, you know, I'm relaxed. I'm talking to you. I'm having a good time. My knees feel great. My back feels great. And it's done. I mean, this is a pretty simple, this chair makes a big difference. The, uh, this product here, the foam, uh, I'm going to put this in the link, uh, link in the description. Uh, simple Green, it really works. You can use it on plastic. Uh, you could, it doesn't harm anything. It's pretty easy. All it does is get in there, breaks up the loose dirt. Uh, you know, I got, I got a bunch of this stuff. I use it. I love it. Also this, uh, black magic, the tire wet. This is the best one I've used yet as far as its longevity and how long it lasts. You put that on there. I mean, it, it just, it's phenomenal. This stuff works well. And this bench, I, you can't beat it. I mean, it just makes things so simple. Uh, this little thing here, I mean, obviously you can get these anywhere. They're, they're pretty cool. They get in the crevices. They make reaching down easy. I mean, obviously, you can even stand up and do it. But, you know, for me, I just like to sit on my little bench here and knock it out. Uh, and it makes it so much easier. Listen, guys, I, I tell you, the, the, the Riker in and of itself is awesome. The main maintenance of it, if you take care of this thing, I mean, you're going to have an incredible time for many days to come. And all I'm trying to do is give you my experience, what I've done, uh, how it's gone with me. And I hope that this will help you out with your Riker or your potential purchase of a Riker. And then obviously, if you've got a car, truck, and you want to clean your rims or something like that, and it's become a headache, that you can use this on anything. But this is The Secret. I'm Chip Mitchell. Enjoy the ride. Thanks for being with me.